Hey, hey guys, welcome back and in today's video we're going to be covering how to add the SEO areas and widgets to your site, uh, to your KB Core site. If you don't already know this, my name is John Kinnanen, I'm a digital marketer and I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of Florida and in the state of Michigan, so if you have any referrals, feel free to send them my way, I'll take really good care of them and I do provide a referral fee. Also, if you haven't already done so, this is your first time to this, this channel, at the end of the video, if you feel like you got something on it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. If you have any questions throughout this uh, video, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. And if you would like to set up a little bit of time to where we can talk about my digital agency running your ads for your company, feel free to schedule some time below. Just click on the... The calendar link and we'll set up a time to talk talk to you in about 30 seconds all right guys so the very first thing you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go to kbcore.com and it's gonna bring you to a website that looks very similar to this this is a brand new uh, update that uh, KB Core came out with not that long ago so on the left hand side you're gonna go to website manager a lot of YouTube videos out there you may you may see are a little outdated because in 2021 they came out with this brand new update so your your display is going to look a little different than possibly some other older videos so like I said you just come down here you go to website manager Today we're going to be covering site content and widgets. So you're going to go to site content. On the left hand side down here you're going to have testimonials, service areas and SEO and custom pages. I did cover custom pages in a previous video if that's something that you um, would like to get into. You click on service and service areas and SEO. So what you're going to do um, is you're gonna put in here all the areas that you cover okay um, and you you know there's multiple different ways to put this content in there so I would put it in there by zip code um, you just go you just start typing in the zip code click on the zip code it then shows up down here right here and then just put in here like maybe homes for sale comma condos for sale and uh, maybe lakefront property for sale uh, homes on the lake because we do have a lot of lakes around here and then you come over here and you click on save and that saves it otherwise if you start adding another area without hitting that save button it's going to lose all that information and you'll have to re-enter that information so another thing you can do is you start typing in the township. You know, you can do the Howell, or you can do the area, the township, um, Howell's Brighton Beach Sub. So that's a good one, you know, so that way it covers that subdivision. And then you just have to find it in here. This is a neighborhood, actually. So this is something new, actually. Homes for sale, condos for sale, and again, Lake front property for sale and then you get and get you're you're again gonna hit save so after you hit save then we're gonna go up here I'm gonna add a bunch of little neighborhoods here in the area red cedar ooh look at that that's something new I'm liking that so you can now add neighborhoods to this. This is this is big, guys. This is really cool. So I'm going to show this where I'm going to show you where this shows up on your website as well. So again, we're going to hit homes for sale, condos for sale. This just helps with a little bit with the SEO. And I know there's no lakes in there, so I'm going to leave lakes out. And what you do where this is going to show up actually is right. Let's see. Let's go to our website, and I'm going to show you exactly where this shows up so you're gonna scroll down here these are the widgets right here by the way this is the widgets area and I'm gonna cover that in a little bit but down here is where the areas are going to be so like 
Red Cedar Cross condos is what that's called, even though those really aren't condos. Um, it's going to bring you to a page that's going to talk a little bit about that area. It shows you where it is on the map. And it's going to give you total... Uh, doesn't make them register right away which is cool it just depends on how you have your site set up on how many homes they're going to get to look at before you force that registration uh, so this is pretty cool so this right there you can click on that and it takes them to how many properties are for sale there and then you click on one and it takes them to here which is really cool you know because this is a you know very popular subdivision in our area um, so that's very cool so you can come back uh, let's see let's go to a different oh you don't have to go all the way back but uh, let's go to the other one that I just added the Howell Brighton Beach sub so this is cool so right here it takes you right to these you got your most popular your most expensive least expensive for sale in that neighborhood now this is a bigger neighborhood so there's gonna be uh, the other page would look like this if it was you know if there were more homes for sale in that neighborhood uh, let's see even though there is only one home for sale here this is a more popular neighborhood a more populated neighborhood as well so I don't really know why this other one this this other one should have shown up the exact same way Let's see, maybe it will show up that way when we go back. Maybe it's just a glitch in the system. Because really, that page should show up just like that. should be the most popular, least expensive. For some reason, it's not populating like that, and I don't know why. But that's really cool. So we're going to add some more subdivisions. Um, go Hidden Lake. Hidden Lake Estates Neighborhood. Yes, this is a good one right here. Hidden Lake Subdivision. I'm going to show you what this is, what this looks like. Homes for sale. Luxury. Um, homes for sale. Lakefront homes for sale. And um, I do believe this is South Lion. So I'm going to add that in there too. We're going to click on save. And then when we go back, go back to the home page, and I'll show you why this con or this neighborhood is so uh, important to add. You're going to want to go through and add these high uh, price, not just high price, but any kind of homes in that in your area. The the um, popular ones, especially, especially like this one. Like you have your most popular, uh, 950,000. Most expensive, 3.5. And then least expensive, uh, eight hundred forty-nine thousand dollars. So this is a good subdivision to have. So you got uh, you click on that again, and it has reduced, just listed at three point five million, one point nine, one point three. That's why I'm saying this is a good subdivision to have on here, and I'm liking this that you can get this. And then you can click on free market report even. So this is very important to do. So I'm gonna go back through actually, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna continue to do this while you guys are on, but that is how you add your SEO areas, and that helps. And just like I said, you want to do it by zip code, by town, um, as many different um, ways as you can put that in there. So you got um, like Brighton is big for us, right? So we got the area here already. You got the township in there we do have the zip code so we have the township area brighton country club neighborhood so i'm gonna add that i mean i know i said i wasn't gonna continue to bore you but this will be the last one that i do and then we'll move on to widgets So there we go. So that's a good one to have, right? Definitely. All right. So the next thing we're going to cover, though, is we're going to go back to website management. And right at the top here, we're going to go to widgets. And then 
right here you can click on clear website content and what that's going to do if you do that don't worry it's not going to erase everything that we've just been working on for these last few tutorials here but it's going to get rid of these two widgets okay now you can do things like meet the team uh, default property type widget you can add this go to add oh I don't want to add it twice I hope it doesn't add it again I really hope it didn't no okay default property multi-family houses land condos featured um, home worth open house so home worth and open house are the two widgets I like to have there you can do um, recruit default widget you can add that one you can have your blog post there so now if we come here uh, let's see you now Pen, no we don't want to do anything like that so now if you come back here we should have two other widgets that have been added here again oh, nope it didn't want it didn't want to do that for some reason so we can click add let's see see what happens they just came out with this update so I'm learning a little bit as we go along as well there we go so now we have what's my home worth open houses uh, multifamily houses land condos and join our team so I am actually going to actually leave join our team up there but I think I'm gonna get rid of these other ones here and you can actually uh, just go to clear my website content you can go yes and then what happens is I'll show you I'll show you what happens <laughs> internet's moving a little slow so then these are your default widgets right here okay this is what yours may look like right now and what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna go add and I'll hit replace add append add append and then that should have taken us back to the way that we were but adding the recruit widget What's my home worth? Open houses. Join our team. So very cool, right? Join our team just takes you to John Kinnan EXP Realty Careers and you can then hit um, apply as an agent and then that walks you through. Just because you send somebody, this is for all the, uh, the EXP agents out there, just because they start from here, they still have to name you as their sponsor when they go through and do this. So. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it helped, give you a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me get this content out there to other real estate agents like yourself that are looking to grow their real estate business. Yeah, and if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. That helps me produce better content for you. It lets me know that, hey, you guys aren't interested in learning about KV Core. Anyways, you guys have an awesome week. There are a couple of videos that have popped up. I highly suggest you watch them. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. I will circle back around and answer them. And if you want to talk about our digital agency running your ads for you, or if you have questions about setting up your KV core or anything like that, feel free to schedule a little bit of time with me or just shoot me a quick text. All my contact information is in the description of this video. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have an awesome, awesome week, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.